they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots in the round. Gang hop out, then we clear in the What's good, y'all? What's good? Y'all know the vibes. You with your boy Prince from New York. We on the Talk of the Town show, and we got my boy BBG Stepper in the building. Gang, man. Uh -huh. What's cracking, man? Go on. What's cracking, man? We here, man. Yo, what's good, bro? What's cracking, man? How you feeling? I'm chilling. It's a good Fuck day. Fuck you on, man. This shit a great day, man. Nah, Every cool, day man. a good I'm day. Cool, you ready to start? We, we just going to get into it? Type uh, let's get into it. On, All right, bet. So before we start, we're just going to play a quick game. Let's go. Rapid fire questions. It's just a warm up type shit. So basically, I'm going to just say a question. I need you to give me an answer. We're just going to go back to back. Rapid fire. You ready? I got you. All right, bet. Cool. So first question. What's your sign? I'm a cancer. Most used emoji? Uh, Blood jaw. <laughs> Worst rapper? Uh, my fucking Das Slump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, celebrity crush? Uh, fucking Lotto. That shit fat. Mm. What's, who's an artist you get compared to a lot? Polo G. I get per, compared to him a lot. I can see that. Favorite uh, slang word? You said my slang? Yeah, slang favorite word. favorite slang word. Uh, I don't know. Shit. Like, what's shit the word you say out. a lot? Um, my bro, my gang, I don't know. My oh. dad, man. <laughs> All right. Um, what's one red flag in a girl? Uh, motherfucking, I hate liars. Yeah, yeah just liars. Um, you got a lot of me. I ain't your father. Oh, my fault, my fault. Shit, then that's deep. Oh, bro. <laughs> um, favorite artist outside of hip hop, like not a rapper. Uh, I don't really be listening to shit outside, but uh, favorite artist. I don't know. I don't really be listening to shit. All right. outside of my bro. I gotta expand my ears though, for sure. Nah, exactly. You gotta step out there. Oh, bro. Come on. I'm already know. Come on now. How you gonna do other. Nah, other I'm open music? to that shit. I just don't know who to turn on. You feel me? The same, crazy, same way you just asked me that question. Who the fuck am I just gonna sit on my YouTube and search that the type shit? I feel you. Oh, bro. Give, I, gotta give, like, get, right. I gotta get put on. Y'all gotta put I'm me on you, in I'm the comments. Drop some. Niggas. Drop who the. Y'all hardest. Y'all favorite artist. You feel me? Like, that ain't rapping. But that's doing some other shit. No matter what it is. Rock, no matter. Please. Anything, open my ears. Bro, up. Oh, bro. Thank you. Um, who do you text the most? My mother. Shout I love you, mom. Oh, bro. Um, what's one thing on your bucket list? Uh, shit. And get mom to that house, man. That's that number one thing. That's the only thing I worry about. Why you gonna get that done? Oh, bro, I'm already knowing. Um, three things you taking on a deserted island. Uh, gun, <laughs> weed, some more weed, bro. Tough. No, yeah, no, no phone. Damn. Yeah, now nah, fuck the some more weed on the set. We gonna grab some weed seeds. Matter of fact, you heard. We gonna we gonna grab some weed seeds. You heard. We gonna grab some motherfucking um. We gonna grab the phone. And my mother. That's all I need, oh, bro. Fire, fire. Last question. What's one conspiracy theory that you think is real or maybe real? Mm. Mm -hmm. I be definitely talking about that shit, but I'm too fit to think about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Bro. Aliens, anything? Nah, aliens, I, I, don't, I don't think that shit. Bro. Wow. Um, Interesting. I do. I, I don't. Bet, but that's what I have for you, bro. So we good. Um, so before we get into it real quick, I just want to give you your proper introduction. Uh, welcome to Talk of the Town show. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, BBG Stepper is a 16-year-old rapper. He's from New York, New um, Newark, New, New Jersey. Oh, my He's from Newark, New Jersey. Um, and he's taking over the scene. Uh, that's show. one. Two, he has a tape that's about to come out, a mixtape. Uh -huh. Shout out start, to you heard, May 17th, you heard? Shout out to mixtape. Oh, bro, by the time, I think, I'm not sure when it's going to come out. It's probably going to be out, you heard? Just make sure y'all go, if it's not out, though, go pre-save, man. Hit that pre-save link. That shit in my bio, you heard? Go crazy, man. Shoot and start. I ain't going to lie, ain't nobody fuck with me because this tape right here, this shit really going to show y'all. You feel me? I ain't got to keep talking. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's keep talking. Wait, wait. Chill, chill, chill. Let's keep talking. So, so, <laughs> what's different though? Like, what's different about this tape? What's new about this? Shit, like, I don't know. Like, it ain't, it ain't just drill shit. Like, you know how everybody else, they just, they just stick to they say, they um, so they self for Like, I'm doing other shit. Like, I'm on my fucking, I'm on Cali beats and this shit. shit. Melodic shit. Um, just a little drizzle of melodic shit you heard. Like, nah, next beat. tape, y'all gonna really see on, um, bro. I ain't really got too much, but. Um, 
Yeah, shit, I'm just, y'all gonna see, cause it's just different shit, it ain't nothing really, hey, it's not really me, like, y'all gonna see it, it's not, like, this is not, um, like, how I used to be rapping, I'm gonna say, or, but it's definitely, it's hard, I, I like, nah, listen, sure, I listen to it, they, they, 100% they, they sent me, they sent like, me something, and I listen sure, to it, and I'm just 100%. like, oh, shit, whole time, I'm like, this is a 16 year old, I'm like, wait, hold on, this is, this is yeah, 16 year old even, rapping, like, niggas don't even, you feel me, like, my whole, all that shit don't get 16, it, so it like, it just, you feel me, but like, a question that I did have for you is, do you feel like it's, it's challenging stepping into the drill scene and being young, in general? Uh nah, I feel like we eat that shit up. You heard? Like we got more time. I feel like when you you, you the younger you come in and shit, the more time you got. You feel me? So you don't get any pushback from anybody. There's, there's, nah, there's I be seeing that shit, but I don't really care about that shit. Like I know what I'm doing. You feel me? Like I feel this shit provide for my family. Man. I don't Type give a shit. fuck. So and then I guess the last question on that is the is there any people in the industry specifically or just on the yeah in the industry specifically that may not take you serious because you're a 16 year old drill rapper? Do you feel do you get any pushback on that? I'm not sure. I don't really know. Like, if you don't let me know, I don't... Like, nah, that's fire. I, I don't know, shit. So it's just, it's just clear rose type shit. Nah, it's tough. Fire, tough, Everybody tough. Everybody think it's fire. Cause like, they don't even be thinking of 16 or when they hear me. Like, you got to tell them that. Oh, bro, like, you really have to tell somebody that. Niggas ain't going to like, see me and all that. Niggas ain't thinking like that. So then... All right, so then my question is then. Yeah, even once you tell him, a nigga still be shocked, like you lying to him or something. Yeah, nah, you, like, you don't look 16 gang. I'm not gonna lie. And then, especially what you rap about. No, bro, I seen a lot. That, a lot. That's not a life bro. of a 16 year old. So then my question is do you, you live the life that you rap? Hey, how you wanna take it? I don't know. It's cops listening. Type shit. Type shit. <laughs> Just come try me, man. Like, on the set, like, I really, like, I be outside, like, every day. Like, I ain't no super tough ass nigga, but you feel like I ain't living this shit I'm talking about? Come here, you heard? Come take these. So, bro, you feel me? I ain't. I respect it. Bro. I have to ask, you feel me? I bet. So, um, back back to the back to the music, though. Um, I know you young, but you have a lot of features, especially on this new tape. You have a lot of features. We got features with Didi Osama. We yeah. got features with EBK, J-O, uh, J-Bo, sorry. We got features with D-Dot. Um, yeah. how, how was those experiences working with these guys? Nah, everybody out fuck with them. Like, I ain't, I wanted to put them on the tape if I ain't fuck them. Everybody, genuine, you feel me? Was, like, the, was the tapes record, like when you recorded, did you guys record live or, or nah, um, it wasn't recorded live? Like you was in the studio with them type shit. Uh, I know J-Bo, I was in the studio with him for sure. Um, I think, yeah, man, D-Dot definitely was in the studio, too. Matter of fact, me, J-Bo, and D-Dot was, is that spinning? No, that's spinning two, I think that's in it. Part two, the shit for the video? That's part two, if I'm not mistaken. But it, that's part one. Me, J-Bo, and D-Dot was in the studio when we made that shit, I think. Like, bro. So talk to me, like, how was the how was the stool experience with them? Is shit, there anything that, that you could tell lit. me, like, you not even just learned, but, like, you experienced that was different, that you you saw a different light, you saw something different that you could pick up or you could take from them? From shit, more well like, I just be artists. seeing how, like, all these, like, you feel me? The full established artists, they be having the entourages with them, like all they guys, you know, like I just know like like six months to a year that's gonna be me. And I know like when my st- like when when the shysties do it, you heard it's gonna be that, you heard. Oh um, bro, that's just, that's something I always take with me. I just I love that shit. I love to see that shit. Everybody that's supporting their guys with they rapping shit, all that shit. I so just then, watch when we do that shit. So then is there anything you seen that you was like, nah, that's not gonna be me type shit. Or like I'm not doing that type shit. <laughs> uh Mm-hmm. Is there anything I seen right now? Ah, uh, not really. Probably I just right now. I just can't think. I don't know. Got you. Cool. Um, but that internet shit. I ain't doing all that internet shit. What you mean? Like, like all that wolfing and shit. On like on Instagram, I see a lot of people doing that. A lot of people just go live just to argue with people all type <laughs> shit. I'ma chill out that. Like, I don't really like going live for her anyway. So, but I gotta get back on there just to, like. You feel me? Interact with the fans, not really. But that's a that's a that's a different shit. type of marketing. Yeah, if nah, you bro. if you it is a type of marketing, but that should be asked to only be known for that. Like you want, I really want niggas to know me for my music. Like fuck that beef shit. Like when it's like I get that should definitely be marketing niggas, all that shit. But fuck that shit. If you really raw, the world gonna see that shit. Like on the set. Um, another question back to back to the um features. I seen. You had another, like, one of your biggest songs that blew up was a feature with Didi, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how y'all met, though. How did that connection happen? Uh, It was some Instagram shit I had seen. He had um, posted a picture of him and his brother. 
to one of to one of my songs. I think it was too easy. Yeah, cause they got remixed that shit too. Right after I did that, well, I don't I don't think it was right after a couple months after I did that shit. But yeah, um, I seen that shit. Wait, they remixed your yes, song? Yeah, they remixed the um, they remixed the beat. You heard? Oh. They, they remixed that shit. You heard? Put that shit out. That shit was hard. You heard? Shit went up on both. Then I tapped in after that. I t- I swiped up on story shit. For me, I was fucking with. Nah, Ever since then, everything was genuine. You heard? I fuck with niggas no more. Nah, nigga. So then, because when we was talking before this, there was a whole Jersey, New York thing. So you fuck, like, the New York Jersey, it's a lot of love between New York Jersey. No, artists, bro, but it's also a lot of hate between that shit. Like, where where like, is that, like, like where is that know. coming from? Like, shit? they be, like, they swear to God, like, we be still in they swag, all this shit. I ain't gonna lie, you come to Jersey, because, like, we don't, like, none of that shit, you feel me? Like, that's where the confusion be at, but it be like, you look, you look in New York, y'all over there doing our beats. Y'all <laughs> dances that come from our shit, you heard. But just trying to claim it as y'all, you heard. But I'll just be sitting back, you heard. I don't know. Like, so I know the world see this shit. All right, so, so give me something. Give me a give me give me something specific. What's one thing, whether it's a dance, a lingo, a uh, uh, swag, whatever. Like, what's one thing you could say, nah, New Yorkers do heavy, or New York rappers, or New York do heavy that, sh- that they stole? Beats, bro. The club beats. Who the fuck was rapping on club beats before niggas in Jersey, bro? Like, niggas, like, on the set. Y'all wasn't doing that, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. And niggas don't give credit on, bro. Niggas don't give credit on the set. My son, Batman was really doing that shit. The nigga, I forgot the nigga's name. Like, Ed Moore, I forgot. It's a couple niggas that was doing that. It's a couple niggas that was doing that shit before a lot of these niggas. That's just, you feel me? Nah, Blowing right. up with this shit, you heard? Um, bro, you right. I nah. know I'm right. I, I go check with C. So, bro, I don't just talk to her. And I'm really, I really pay attention. To so, so then, um, I know, I know, so since you say you pay attention, and so talk to me something. Give me some insight at least. And I know I'm bouncing around, but I just want to have a genuine com- uh, conversation. No, bro. Um, talk to me, uh, somewhat about some of the people that you look up to at least, and not even just look up to, but that that you take note from or that you're inspired by in the industry. Uh. Ain't nobody been giving me that lately. Yeah. Honestly. Like not even from when you was growing up. Growing up, um shit. Mm. I don't know. It's just been I ain't never really got inspired by this by nobody for real, I can't say. Or cause I know you jack polo G Yeah, you? I fuck with him like but like inspire I don't know, like to say like the nigga inspired me, like that be that's a push. No, bro, I ain't gonna lie, cause I wasn't like before like when I first first started rapping, I don't even think I was listening to him like that. Like, so I I got into him a little recently, but I got into him heavy, and like he was the only person like that I fuck with. Like, ain't, I feel like ain't nobody really fucking with him. Like said, nobody could really talk to me like how he talked to me. Nah, like, I see what you're saying. All right, so then let's talk. Let's talk somewhat about the history. So I know um you dropped your first single in 2021. That oh was, yeah, that yeah. was three years ago. Um, you feel me? You 16 so. right now and. You made your first track when you were ten. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. Right, I heard. So you've been making music for six years. Yeah. And in in those six years, is there anything that you could tell me that um you've learned, you've grown, you've grown with, whether it was sound? Is there something that you could tell me about your musical journey that you could say that uh, that that at least you could say that it's like, all right, this is growth, or this is something that has changed, or I've I've gained over the years. The ability to freestyle a little bit. Cause like I wasn't really able to. Like I was writing everything. I had to go to the studio if I got something written. Like, like when I said, my son for Guala, or my son do so. I did the first song I freestyle it was Twin Drive. Like I wrote half of that shit and then and then I freestyle. So after that, I did, it was just up from there. I said that nigga was telling me like that was one of the best things he told me. But I said. No, nah, that's fine. So now is the music process for you more freestyle based or is it? The shit just come to me easier. I don't even be freestyling no more like that. I st- I'm back to writing, but like when I'm writing now, the shit come to me way easier. Like it's like I'm feels like like it's just everything that come to my mind is easy. It just go right on paper. Or I just make sure now I, I I like to perfect everything. So all that freestyling shit I was noticing, I was punching in a little too early. Like I was overlapping my hella shit, you heard. So now I don't really I'm focusing on that shit. Like fuck that shit. I'm just right, you heard. But still like. Rap it, freestyle while I'm writing it. You heard? Nah, me? that's so tough. Was the um was the process then of creating a mixtape something somewhat similar? Like, was it planned? Was it something that you was like, yo, I want this here? I want like nah, it wasn't. It was just like I was just creating a bunch of songs like, and I was just like, you feel me? 
yeah, whatever ones like go for this like it, it got to go you feel me but like this next one i'm gonna really like i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna really plan this one like for sure like really make every i don't know like, i'm gonna really go through no, i know what you mean i know what you mean all right got you so um we could switch gears real quick how you feel about the kendrick the whole kendrick drake shit if you got an opinion on that I ain't gonna lie, I don't really got an opinion on it. I be looking at that shit, but I don't really be saying that shit. I, only, I think I only listened to one song, you heard? I think it was this last shit that Drake just dropped, or the one before that one. It was just, I just was, I think I was watching Kyle react to that shit or some shit. I ain't really, <laughs> like, yeah, I really don't be paying, like, I don't want to say, but. You don't really be I was fucking with that shit. He, he, he was walking, you heard? I gotta go listen to Kendrick's response to that shit, you heard? Well, I just gotta go listen to the old shit. Fuck that, I can't pick sides. You know? <laughs> I gotta go listen to the old shit, then I'm gonna have an opinion on bro. Nah, I'm gonna hit you up. I, I need to I need to know your opinions on nah, that. Um, for sure. All right, so then, I, I, but you know at least J. Cole backed out. You said you what? Heard, you heard about what J. Cole did? What he do? All right, so basically he was a part of the beef. Mm -hmm. And then he went on stage. Who side he was on? He was on his side. <laughs> it, was, it was three of them. Right. It was J. Cole, Drake, Kendrick. And they all beefing with each they other? They was all beefing with each other. Oh, you feel me? I don't know. They was just beefing. J. Cole went on stage though. He dropped the diss track and then yeah. after that he went on stage and then he was like, yo, my fault. And then he took the diss track back. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, no. I definitely seen something about that shit. I ain't gonna lie, that's that that, that that's flaw game. That ain't right game. If everything you say you supposed to stand, stand on all ten behind that shit. Twenty toes, you ain't even got twenty, bitch. You supposed to stand on all twenty of them bitches you heard on the set. Like niggas wildin', like you ain't supposed to take that shit back, gang. Especially not on no stage, on cause you like a straight clown, man. You on the set, I ain't on the stage. That, that shit, wow. Well, but <laughs> all right, I got you. Um, another random question. Um, how the girls treat you? No, I ain't treat me. All right, know. so you you Gucci? Of course. What? Is okay. it like? Is there any distractions? You see, any, get any distractions? Like, is there any hindrance nah, to your career? Nah, it, it, it is a little distraction with the like with the bitches you heard, cause like. Some bitch, like bitches that you be trying, you feel me? Build some way. Maybe <laughs> want too much time, you heard? So I don't build, you heard? I'm just fucking, you heard? I ain't gonna lie to you, okay? <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. All that building shit, relationship, that shit take too much time. Plus, I tried that shit. That shit over with, man. I ain't gonna hold you. One day, though? Maybe. Uh, I mean, you young. You young. You got time. Um, but I mean, there's a, there's another part to it, though. Like, there's a lot of people who use girls, like, to help build their career or who the girls just. Ended, ended up helping build their career. Like, hey, Boogie, you feel me? The whole, no, hey, Boogie, Ellis shit. Like, you feel me? It's, it's a plus in it. I don't know if you ever thought about that, but. No, bro. Definitely, if I find the right one, I definitely, come on, cuz, but. These bitches be. You Gucci gay? Something you wanna talk about? Nah, but these bitches just really just, <laughs> this generation is just fucked. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, but you not helping. You I like, know. yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm, trying I'm, to build. You right. I'm, I'm not, not. I'm not build, helping. But the generation, her, but it's like, the generation why the fuck what I ain't trying to build. Fuck you, her is just crazy. Cause I don't know. Maybe if I find out right one, cause I'll just really. But I'll be knowing you, her. Like, if I ain't feeling it, you her. All right. So what's what's three things, BBG step would look for in his shorties? Like she yeah. gotta have. I ain't gonna lie. I need a bitch that could cook. Cause my mother could cook. You know, so like you gotta like you gotta cook. You know? I need a bitch to just treat me like my mother. It ain't even three things. So just, you, so you want a mommy? I I just, I'm oh, bro, you. you heard? Like not even like that. <laughs> nah, you heard? You, These bitches don't you. even be coming like that. Like not even half of the things that my mother do. Like I don't know. Well, wife be, Tommy. Like, yeah, don't it don't be, be on that wife Tommy. Tommy heard on the set. That shit. Mean. So, so, so what's three things you gonna make sure or your shorty has from you, no matter what? Like you always provide for your shorties. Like when she with you, she always get type shit. When she with me, she always get. Man, shit, she gonna have everything she need. Fuck everything she asked for. We gonna be taking trips, all that shit, motherfucking um, little fucking gifts here and there, or bro, all that shit, bro. Got you. Fuck. She sit you. But I ain't gonna lie, my Tom, that might that might be a problem. <laughs> that might be the problem though, cuz like my time, like I really, I don't know, cuz. And I'm a bad texter too, so. That's my problem. I know that shit a blur. I know that shit. Like, I'm a super ass texter. That Damn. shit killing a bitch and shit. I'm already know. I don't be giving a fuck. They know how I'm coming. When I want to fuck, I want to fuck. Fuck the tough man. <laughs> All right, bet. And then my last random question is I know you, um, 
Well, I heard you had plans on going back to school. That's that's fact. Yeah, no, I'm doing that shit online right now. Work? Yeah, How's that I'm going? going? That shit going good, bro. I had to get my GD and shit. I'm playing with that shit, but I keep doing on and off. Bro. Like, nah, you I'm, gotta lock in. Nah, I gotta lock in. See, the, it's in. the girls. Nah, the it's just a lot of game. shit. It's really like, man, I ain't gonna lie. Music take a lot, bro. Plus everything that's going on outside. And that shit take a lot of nigga mind. You heard niggas don't understand. At the end of the night, you still be. That. You got to deal with all that shit on all that shit on your conscience. Everything Sorry. that happened in these twenty four hours. Like, I mean, bro. how you deal with it then? I did hard. <laughs> I don't talk, talk to myself, y'all. Yeah. Well, at least the job's still getting done. Nah. Still so when you expect it to finish, though? Shit, what? When what? you when you gonna uh, finish? Um, like a couple months. Think about it. Um, before the summer for sure. Oh word! Yo, yeah. congrats, gang. Nah, that real yeah. shit. Man, Tommy, real shit. <laughs> Make sure yo drop a congratulations in the comments for my boy. I bet so. Um, I bet so. Yeah, I got another game for you. You feel me? Dude. Keep it fun. Um, it's basically called a match game. So basically, I'm gonna I'm call out something that New Yorkers say is slang. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call out a slang word that New Yorkers use, and I need you to match it with what Jersey, what Jersey niggas use. You can do that for me. I got you. All right, bet. Cool. So the first one is brick, like it's brick outside. Y'all use that too? Bro, that's our shit, cuz. Y'all niggas be, yo, y'all gotta stop, cuz. Newark is Brick City, cuz. Y'all niggas, like, y'all gotta, ch gotta chill this shit, cuz. Y'all gotta chill this shit out. Y'all be wild, y'all be trying to just steal everything, cuz. Nah, cuz I don't even wanna talk no more, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> really yo, now I you dead, just gotta be tight. Just, I ain't nah, gonna Nah, you just, you just blew my shit, cuz, on the set, cuz. Um, bro, he just went for some straight bullshit talking about yeah, that's, I swear that's the first one. Ahead, I'm like, yo, what we, what we say? Oh, that's not y'all shit. Not 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 I ain't gonna lie, that ain't y'all shit, cuz. I ain't gonna lie, that ain't y'all shit. I've been, been saying that. Well, my jersey has out, yo. That ain't they shit, cuz. on bro, that ain't they shit. Alive. So I, 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 I we, we could jack that. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> nah. All right, best. So whatever. Y'all, I'm gonna let y'all get that for, for now. What else? All right, so we say like OD. Like, it's OD right now. You OD. Y'all say that shit? Nah, I don't say that shit. Um, it's really a word for that shit. You just tripping. Don't too much. Tripping. Oh, all right. All right. We say like mad. Like I got mad time. I got mad time right now. I got mad bread in my pocket. Hum, nigga. You got that hum. Oh, bro. That what? That hum. Hum, okay, All right. Oh. All right. Like, all right, best. So I'm about to go to the corner store. Like, say corner store. Nigga, you going to the store? What the See, fuck? See, I just say store though. Y'all don't say corner store. Y'all say because you just going to the store and it's at or whatever store you going to. You going to stop one, whatever store you want store, whatever you going to. <laughs> All right, valid. We say day room. Day room. Uh, you a clown? All right. Yeah. Trish. Trish. Bob. Dick Rodden. Um, you taking that trip? <laughs> um, bro. Stop taking that trip. That's OD. Oh, bro. The A new niggas, be, niggas be taking like, that trip, cuz. The new niggas be saying, like, glazing. 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 Nah, that's nah, yeah, nah. Um, what's, like, we say, like, what's the word? What's cracking, nigga? Wherever you from? What's popping? What's cracking? Whatever you from? <laughs> Whatever you jacking. All right. Um, I better say that. And then my, um, my last really, I know, like I said, I was bouncing around and shit, but my last real segment for you is that, um, I know you've been working with producers like Eli, what the fuck, Ayo Lucas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could tell me anything about that, any experience that you had working with these guys, anything you picked up, you learned, you seen. My son Lucas, he taught me how to um engineer and shit. Oh, word. Oh, bro, yeah, I be doing that shit myself, and I got to set up at home and shit. He told me how to um just go through there and do that shit. I be trying to mix and master and shit, but that shit, that's, that's the complicated part. Like, once I learn that shit, I'm going to be a beast, you know what I'm so like, and I gotta learn how to bring my own beats. I was bro. just about to say, so like, once I do, cause on the set, once I get the whole package, it's gonna be over for niggas. Like niggas not gonna be fucking with me, cause I'm telling. You. So you would you would switch up the you would switch up from drill completely. Like would you do a whole complete genre? If they or, like, fucking with it, I can't just do that shit. What you mean you can't just do it? Like I don't like I don't think like you the, you gotta see how they react. You can't just do what they don't want. You feel me? I all right business wise, I see what you're saying, but for. Trial and error purposes. You would not drop a track out, or have you even no, experimented already? Um, bro, I experimented a little bit just because. Um, How you felt about? It? 
I fuck with that shit. I'm, I'm gonna keep experimenting because that's all my career about. Because I ain't trying to keep sounding the same. That shit, ass. Because I know how quick I'll turn the artist off. So I know it's like, come on, cause. Like, so then, how you feel about just drill in general? Because I, I think the whole stigma on drill, at least I don't know how it is in Jersey, but in New York right now, it's drill is oversaturated. Drill, um, like niggas is tired of drill. Like that's the whole stigma on drill. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, niggas is tired of drill, and I think. That's why, like, niggas ain't giving Jersey y'all a chance, for real, for real. Because, like, y'all New York niggas blew it. Y'all wasn't, <laughs> y'all wasn't talking about shit. If I'm being honest, like, what the fuck was y'all talking? <laughs> Shut that shit up, cuz. Ain't nobody really breaking that shit down on her camera. Like, what you like, want to really hear? Like, on the set now, when they just hear all shit, they talking about this bullshit, too. Y'all not even giving that shit a chance to listen to it. Like, we really lyrically better than niggas. And a lot of the niggas don't be listening to that shit. That shit be blowing my shit. So then, what's the way? Like, what's the way to, to bypass that? Um, just keep going hard. Be consistent. Put this shit in their face. Ain't going. Like, if you constantly put this shit in their face, ain't gonna be no way they. Same them, shit. They deny you, like, bro. Nah, but that yeah, that's why I was asking if you was gonna switch up the sound because I'm like the the whole stigma is like drill is oversaturated. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna keep dropping hella shit. See what they fuck with. Whatever they fuck with, I'm gonna keep going. Nah, nah I heard. Oh, bro, I heard the tape. So it's it's a couple heavy hitters in there that's. That's different too. That surprised me. I'm not even gonna lie. Actually, um, that surprised me. I'm not even. They can't hear it yet, but that's I'm why sure. they. Y'all gotta tune into the tape. I, it's May. It's May 17th, right? May 17th, on bro. Shit, going crazy. You y'all go click that pre-save link, on bro. Shit. Going so, crazy. anything you wanna, you wanna, ask, I mean, ask. Anything you wanna tell the people? Anything on your mind? Anything you wanna tell your fans? Tell niggas in the comments. Tell your haters. Shit, man. Whatever you going through, shit, just keep going, man. Whatever you doing. A little act, like somebody gonna see that shit because eventually it don't matter if you selling waters whatever you doing as long as you putting your full forward to that shit game you going come on game that's what's going on respect and just just stay play stay prayed up for us that's the other thing that's really the first thing I meant to say always pray be religious yeah make sure you pray man be religious Christian bro stay prayed up you don't go to church though. I ain't gonna lie, stop when my father died, bro. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, oh, bro. bro. I used to go to church every Sunday. I ain't know that. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Bro, for real. Oh, that's respect. Damn, I'm... Yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, yeah, just let them know the tape, name of the tape when it dropped. Let them know what else you got coming out. Any any collabs, any sponsorships, any deals, any... Let them know what's up. And I know you got that video coming out, too, so let them know what's up. Oh, shit, man. Shooting Star coming out. You heard Stay Strapped coming out, man. Y'all niggas best stay strapped to get whacked, man. Y'all know how the fuck we rockin', man. Go tune in. Continue clicking that pre-save link, man. Go keep running bisexual clock up. Man, we going crazy. Oh, bro. We out. <laughs>